Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Beverly. I do things planner related. If you're new here, welcome to the hot mess. And if you're coming back, you're well aware. So today we're just going to do a flip through of how my planner is going. Um, it's kind of the same. I'm going to put a poll up on here and Instagram. And if you were on my Instagram, you already saw this, but of kind of the content y'all want to see. My planner system really has kind of solidified and um, it evolves a little bit here and there, but not much. Um, it is one of the most functional planners I've ever had. Um, it seems to be working for me and I kind of love it. Uh, so we'll get into it. I Today, I let my Julio sun, this is the undyed, I let her sun and you can kind of see the patina she has on her, um, kind of the, um, like the color is really nice. You can see the striations. I don't know if you can see them on camera. I don't know if you can like the fat rolls and, um, she's really turning very pretty. And I immediately jumped back in her. I was I had her, I had my planner in my, um, I love this. I love my traveler's notebooks. Um, these are beautiful planners. I love them, but um, I'm just enjoying my Julio. So I had it in there today while I was working because even though I don't write a bunch of stuff down, I did have a list of things to do for work that I was checking off. And um, that reminds me, hold on. I got to clip some stuff together. So, um, but like I said, this is kind of solidified and it's like one of the most functional things I have ever done. And I just don't know what else y'all want. Like, what do you want? What do you want to see? Um, if there's something in my system you want me to go more in depth with, I'll do that. I don't, I don't have a problem doing that, but um, let me show you what I've got. So, decor is kind of decor. It's, uh, I have my, I'm not going to go over where everything is from, but I will show you how I'm using it. This is purely set up, purely set up. I found this on um, Redbubble and I just keep it in here because I like the little spring ghosties. Um, I have uh, money and some stamps and some stuff that I need in case I'm out somewhere um, in my pocket. It's purely functional. I don't have any stickers in there. This is my calendar that I just marked the days off on. These are the um, bookmarks I got from Miram Plan. She's she's noted on my Instagram. I tagged her. Anyway, um, she's there and I'll tag her Instagram. But um, they're beautiful bookmarks and I just have them in a pocket on top of a jelly and these I got from an Amazon bag, uh, uh, Amazon pack. So most of these are either from Redbubble or an Amazon pack. So um, these are all Redbubble. I keep track of my leave. I update it all the time whenever I have leave. Um, this is Watch Becca Plans, her overview, and it's just weekly, but that's all I work is Monday through Friday, so this works for me, um, and it's color-coded of sick leave, AL, and paid holidays, and I have that marked off, and then the gray over here is weekend, so I know kind of how my week is broke up, and then the tan color is, um, do I have this? No, I don't have a slip because I hardly ever take it out, but the tan and then the white um, is marked for my pay my pay weeks, so I know when a new pay week is. So it's just alternated, al 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 alternated so that I know where my pay week ends and begins. And that's how I keep track of my leave, so I know when I used it, how much I know how much I accumulate. Um, I need to go in and mark May how much I have. Um, but how much I accumulate per pay period so I can kind of figure out how much I used versus how much I accumulated and kind of what the balance is. So I can look at that and figure it out. But um, I put the my end of the month AL and sick leave because we have two, two camps. 
I have annual leave and sick leave um, and how you can use them. But I put it at the end of the month of how much I have carrying over to the next month. And um, that helps me keep track of that. Uh, these are, like I said, the yellow is paid holidays, but these are already planned weeks off. So um, that's already done. And then I also have them marked on my just yearly overview. I hardly ever use this, um, and I just have funny coffee, mon uh, coffee, uh, coffee monster sticky um, stickies that I put on there to mark the week, the months off. I highlight my um, holidays as we go. It's a little dashboard I made with some stickies on it. This is my inbox, and I have it project, goal, task, by call, um, and then listed, front and back. I have a second one in case I need it. This was my D-stash list. I have it, a gift list for people, and I have their name, why, when it's due. The number is just the month. What I ended up getting them. Did I buy it? Did I receive it? Did I wrap it? Did I get a card? And did it end up being money and gift card? Do I need to do that? You know, like stop by the ATM or get a gift card. My wish list, which was a Giglio Undyed, and I obviously got it. Uh, returns, things I've returned. And then I have what it was, where it was. Did I return it? How much was it? What account was it in? I have C for like checking and then I would put CC for like credit, A for Amazon, and then did it hit? So did it show up in my account? Um, and I have front and back for that. Online orders, did it get ordered? Did it paid? What it was, how much it was, what month it was in? Did it ship? And uh, when it shipped, sorry, the day of it shipped and then the day it ordered, did it get paid? The day it shipped, and then um, when I received it. So I have the date that it was ordered, paid it, the date that it shipped, and then the date that it received so I can kind of tell when I'm getting stuff. Um, just some reference information, some like my washer, my fridge. I have some tag information under here, things like that. Um, my holidays for work. Um, just stickies that I've stuck on here. This is a med list information for me and my husband. And they are, um, I, I have them on my phone. Um, but I just printed them out on my Canon Ivy and stuck a picture up underneath those. Um, in case I need to be able to hand it to someone. Um, and I don't have to hand over my phone. So that's all that is. I screenshotted it on my Canon Ivy, printed it out stuck it up underneath there and then if I'm taking any like PRN or like right now I was taking some antibiotics and some steroids because I was sick um, when I started it when it's supposed to end so in case I need to hand that off to somebody I can. Spoke to logs these are Hogwarts stickies that I put my spoke to and appointment stickies on. So everybody asks me where I get these. These are plan with B and these are the bought version, not the free version. So that's why they look different. Um, these are upcoming appointments. So if I have appointments coming up, I can write questions or reference information or whatever. If I finish that appointment, I don't need those questions anymore, or I've talked to someone and I don't need that question anymore, I can just throw it away. Um, and then I have more. These are the blank ones. These are the used ones. That's how I keep track of that pictures of my family. These, all these dashboards I got off Pinterest and I just had them printed on photo paper. Um, my mental health tracker, the questions that, whoops, I did it again has, and then Crystal Plans put out a little printable. And then I use that. I track my sleep and my mental health level. Um, questions I ask myself if my mental health is bad. Are you clean? Are you fed? Are you hydrated? Are you rested? Have you connected? Have you moved your body? Have you been outside? Have you talked to a friend, so somebody outside of my family? Have you done something fun that didn't involve TV and scrolling on your phone? And have you been out of the house? That wasn't a doctor's appointment. So those are my questions that I ask myself. 
And then I have just have some quotes. It says, did you really have, um, did you really have a bad day or did you have 10 to 20 minutes where you let your thoughts and undisciplined, uh, run undisciplined, which led you to a bad vibe that you're now let you carry you away. Come on, you run this shit, pay attention. So I really like that. It was a quote from on Instagram, I think. And I just screenshotted it and printed it out. Then over here, I track my perimenopause symptoms. I do have perimenopause. Um, I had my levels drawn and my gynecologist has, this is too much information, I'm sorry, has put me on hormone replacement therapy. So I'm really trying to keep a very good track of that. These is, um, this is Vixie Plan symptom tracker. She has some that have perimenopause symptoms already in them. This is a blank one. I put in my symptoms. My symptoms usually do with brain fog, forgetfulness, poor focus, tired and fatigue, my anxiety, emotional, short-tempered, um, so I'm either crying or I'm raging, <laughs> and then I have broken sleep. Sleep is a big thing for me right now, um, and then I have broken sleep, less than five hours of sleep, and then I do have some hot flashes, so I did put that in here. Then I'm tracking my meds. So my sleep med, did I take a half a sleep med, a whole sleep med, or one and a half sleep med? My progesterone, which they put me on, did I take one pill or two? Um, did I take my estrogen therapy like I'm supposed to because I'm bad at that? And then um, did I take my ADD medicine and did it go up? Did it go down? Did I have to DC it? Was there a med change here? So I'm trying to keep track of all that that affects my mental health. Um, and these two kind of go together. And then, um, you know, like I can look at this and say, okay, I had a really bad day here. What symptoms did I have? Did I change my medicine? Was I not sleeping? Did that cause it? You know, things like that. Um, I'm really trying to drill down on this so that my mental health can get regulated. <laughs> it, it has been really bad this first half of the year, and I have to do something with it. Um, and, oh, I need to add movement on here. Oh, I have movement over here. Mo did I move? Um, and did I journal is over here. Uh, that's right. I added it over here. So um, I'm also tracking any movement and then journaling. So... I really drilled down on what was specific to me and what I need to do to address it. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, these are those little sleeve side sleeves and I just have, I cut the tabs off of them. They're on Amazon and I think I have them linked down below. If I don't, I will. And, um, 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 I got them from somebody else and I can't remember who, but I will tag them below. And, um, but anyway, um, these are really cute. They're clear in the front, frosted in the back, and you can stick stuff in them, but I just stick stickers in them and they're double-sided taped kind of in so they don't move around. They're really stable so that my stickers don't fall out and they're just little dashboards. Um, so I really love those. Another dashboard from Pinterest. This is my bookshelf. This will be 2024. I need to write 2024 up here. Um, if I read 87 books in 2024, I'll really, um, I'll really have done it. That's the, the most I've ever read. Um, but this is from Mama Gracie Plans. So what I did was I color coded each month. And so I'll have each month here. Um, this is the first six months and I'll have the second six months over here. There'll be different colors and I'll color each one. I've been doing three or four books a month. I'm trying to get that up. Um, I really want to raise that up. I like to fill the shelf. Um, but I, I mean, I don't think that's reasonable for me. <laughs> um, if I get like half of this, I'll, I'll do pretty good. But, um, I've been color coding so that I can kind of see what I've been reading. So this will be 2024 and this will be 2025. Um, I went through here. I have a couple of authors that I want to read all their books that are really good reads for me. I know I like them and I'm trying to get myself out of a reading slump. So I think starting with the authors that I really love is going to help. Um, because sometimes I have anxiety against new reads. I know it's a thing, but 
I do, I get anxiety for new reads. So I tend to read the same thing over and over again. I'm trying to get out of that. So I figured starting with authors I knew and f reading everything they have um, would get me at least going. So Kylie Kent is one that I've read almost everything she has, but she has a couple of series that I have not read yet. So I figured I'd start with those. And then Jillian West, um, her reads do have some triggers, but not as many triggers as other like dramatic reads or I'm a smut reader so that she doesn't have as many triggers. Um, so reading all of her stuff would be good too. Um, because they're usually sweet smut uh, romances. So um, anyway, um, so I got those two down and I figured if I get through those, I'll figure something else out after that. I have a couple of more authors that I can go through and read. And I have a couple of more pages in here that I can fill out. If I figure out there's somebody else that I want to, you know, like read their stuff. Um, I have my stuff color coded. This is my to be read list. So it's either purchased or it's on Audible somewhere or it's on my Kindle Unlimited. So this is if I read it. Kindle Unlimited, it's on Audible, or I purchased it, and it's somewhere. If it has a star by it, it's on my Florida Girl Plans Amazon, not my regular Amazon, because I was in the wrong Amazon when I bought it. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, and then I have Mama Gracie, and these are all Mama Gracie plans on her YouTube. These are all hers. And then uh, she has these little calendars, and these are the, her bookish calendars, and it just, I check off if I've read and A for Audible, so I know if I read versus Audible, and then I'm trying to read, and I have not. This is what I've read so far this year, and I kept the two months that I kept up with what I, when I've read, um, I kept those on top, but underneath, I just have a fold out. Um, I have to add one here, because um, I forgot one, but um, I already have it printed out, but so, I just put like five stars means it's really good and then the exclamation point is smut level <laughs> so if it's a three or four or five star smut level um, and then you know and then if it has an a next to it that's an audible and if I DNF it so I don't try it again so um, that's for there My to watch list, I've watched a bunch of stuff. I've DNF'd a bunch of stuff. I've added stuff. I'm waiting on Bridgerton's second, second part to give a final star. And I'm a, mm, on it. I'm just kind of, mm. um, But anyway, once I fill this side up, I'll do the back. These are the goals I've been working on. So the goals I have broken down. Um... And I guess I should say this is going to be a chatty flip at this point. If you haven't gotten a drink, go get one. Um, so, um, self, finance, home, work, and then relationships. And then, so on the front, I put like a main goal. So, my for myself is, and if you hear my dog breathing in the background, I'm sorry. She's huffing at me. Um, build healthy routines and boundaries to support my mental and physical health to in, and it to increase my positive relationship with my mind and body. And then I had some things on here like move my body regularly to increase my flexibility and strength. Develop daily routines to support my mental health. Schedule um, regular productive downtime to promote rest and reset. Participate in regular self-care to increase body positivity mindset. Develop regular bedtime routines to increase sleep hygiene and increase mental health. Develop boundaries to decrease the mental load and grow my new role within my family. Because I do have a new role within my family. All my kids are adults and I have two grandkids. So that's changing. I don't need to make their doctor's appointments anymore. I need to give that over. I need to give away that mental load. I don't have to provide every meal every time. I just have to provide the ingredients. I I personally provide the ingredients for you to cook dinner. Like you, you can cook your own dinner. There's food in there. Go find you something um, because they're all adults. So um, it's taken me some time to work through these. 
I used um, just pen and gear paper and went through them. Um, I did like a rough draft. Um, these are just extra sheets. Um, I did a rough draft of what I wanted to write. I did some rough draft of some goals. Um, and then I cleaned them up. Um, and then I used, so if you've ever done HB90, uh, Sarah Cannon, Heart Breathings, HB90, she plans 90 days at a time. So some of the pre-work she has you do before you start setting goals is she asks you um, what you want to do, what I have to do, what I should do, and what I'm going to do. So um, I use that mindset to kind of work through setting some goals. Um, and of course, you're gonna hear my dog choking right behind me because she's trying to eat a dry something she found on the ground. Okay, um, she's what we call a truffle pig. I love her, but she's a truffle pig. She looks for treasure everywhere. <laughs> anyway. Um, what I want to do, build a routine to support my mental health, move my body and increase my flexibility, increase my leisure time, but make it productive so that I enjoy it. It's not scrolling on my phone, you know, and the, decrease my spending and increase my financial freedom. Like, so th these are some role, some things that I knew I wanted to do. What I have to do, I put down pay taxes and die. <laughs> I do. I have to pay taxes and die. That's all I really have to do. Okay. But other things I have to do. Keep my house clean enough they don't condemn it. Ensure my family has access to food. Keep moving forward. Don't give up. Stay here. Maintain my relationship as a support and loving family member and spouse or friend. Those are the things that to me I have to do. And she's just going to get bit louder because she's truffling underneath my desk. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, set goals and work towards them. Honor my body when I'm tired. Don't get caught up in a perfectionism mindset. Move, in, move even, even if I don't feel like it. A stretch is still movement. Address my intrusive thoughts and talk about it. And address my anxiety and talk about it. Um... You know, what I should do. These are the things you should, you feel like you should do. Have a perfect home. Have an aesthetic planner. Have the perfect look. Do everything for my family and friends. Be in control of everything. Be perfect spouse, mother, daughter, or friend. Be productive every minute of the day. And if it's not perfect, it's not good enough. So, um... You know, I mean, this helps you kind of work through what your expectations of yourself are, what you really need to do, what you have to do, and then um, what you're going to do from here forward. And um, that really does help for me to get in the mindset to set goals um, and those goals to be realistic and true to myself not true to what I think other people want me to be or expect me to be or how I think I have to be or the face I have to put forward. And I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's what helped me set these goals. Um, I'm going to take these goals. I'm going to move them into a monthly goal and then into weekly goals and then into daily goals. Um, and routines, not really goals, but like set up, help me set a routine that helps support these goals and helps me move forward. So this, this was really personal. So I hope it helps somebody. <laughs> I hope it helps somebody. So, um, but anyways, uh, so I've done that for each finance, my work, um, my home, like I said, and my relationships. And e on each back of each one, I've set some goals for myself and some boundaries and how I'm going to look do those goals um, or execute those goals or routines and to move forward. So I hope that helps somebody. So as personal as that was, I hope it helps somebody.
So um, this is my big by big agenda. So these are the things we do big. Um, so I can look at this next year and see if there's anything I need to plan for next year. Or if they're just one-off things, I can kind of like chalk them up. If it's something new that we did that we want to do next year, you know, those kind of things. This is going to be my monthly goals and then how I'm going to execute those goals um, on the back to just kind of get my mind right. And then this is going to be my task list for the month. Um, I've kind of put off task listing for June. It's only the 6th, thank goodness. But um, so today I'm going to work on my monthly goal um, for this month. And then I can turn it into a task list over the next day or two. And then I can get started. And then I'll be more prepared to work on July a little ahead of time. And then have a July to-do list. And then these are what my months are looking like. This is my work. Um, I have June and July in a calendar. I have a task list, a running task list, um, a project task list, a project outlay um, uh, layout of how it's going to go or what we're looking at. And then I also have a bunch of reference information, like who is our chief over our project, how to get a hold of them, how to get a hold of certain people, you know, those kind of things. So. Anyway, um, a $2 bill for my grandfather, picture of my grandparents, some more family pictures, pictures of my kids when they were little. Um, this is still working out well this um, week. I just basically have a timeline. This is even my work timeline, kind of what's going on. Um, home, work priorities, errands, calls um, this week that I needed to make. Um, I put the temperature up here, some, some, um, stickies, what I'm going to read. I got to put it in. Um, I'm listening to an audible book actually, and I only have a couple hours left in it and I need to finish it. Maybe I'll finish it today. Um, and then I gratitude on the back, put in my gratitude for each day. And then, um, the tarot that I pull for the week, I keep it in the front. Um, and then, um, I journal about the tarot that I pull um, on here. And then I have two kind of trackers. This is my home. So when did I vacuum them up? Bills, recycling, zone declutter, sheets, plants, just stuff that I do on a regular basis. And then myself, so did I move? Did I do any self-care? Did I read? Did I take my meds like I'm supposed to? Um, this is my face routine. I'm trying to get better at a, um, like a night face routine. So when did I use my retinol? When do I need to exfoliate? Did I do my AM face routine, which is moisturizer, that kind of thing? Um, did I track my spending every day? And was I in bed down by 9.30? every night to try to get enough sleep to run through my day. My meal planning, this is my budgets, um, like groceries, things like that. I track that here and it's just a little pop out thing. I did make this where it fits in my pocket um, in case I wanna take my pocket instead of my big thick thing. Um, I did set up my pocket. Um, I can't plan in it. I, I, I'm well aware of that. It's it's too small. But I did set it up with like a weekly. I had a pocket moleskin that I just cut out. I took out of the spine, cut the top off and rounded the corner and then just put in the month sticker because I cut off the month because it was up here. But um and then I can just put like, if I have errands, I stuck a sticky note on here yesterday of things I needed to do while I was out. Then I have my monthly, and then these were my last dailies, but I didn't replace them. I'm just gonna use them as lists as I need them. Then I have a few like trip planner things back here in case I do take this on a trip. I just left it in here. Add the planner in case there's something in a pocket I wanna add. Um, some journaling stuff. This is my monthly adulting in case I need to reference something. My weight tracker in case I take it to the doctor. And then some lists for just, they're all blank. That's basically what's in here. 
Um, I do have like my reading list um, in case I want it, but I don't think I really need that. I have spoke to and appointment logs in here in case I need them when I'm out. I do have my grocery stuff because that is a trigger list for me. So if I'm in the grocery store, I can throw in a grocery list and I have my meal trigger list. These meals I know I can buy without having to look at a recipe. So if I need to make up a quick meal list, I can do it. If I'm in the middle of Walmart, I can pick five things and have a week's worth of groceries. And then like my reference information um, up front for like gift lists and things like that in case I'm out and I want to buy something. Um, that's basically all that's in there is just reference stuff. St not stuff I'll plan, but stuff I'll reference. Um, so if I do want to take it, I'm not saying I'm going to. It's just set up that if I do, and if I can, this is my cash budget. So all I have to do is pop that in there and I can take it with me and I know how much I have on each of my little cash cards so that I keep to my cash budget. Hope that helps. My to-do list, my budget, I haven't spit anything because I've been working off my cash budget, my bills, my work running to-do list. This isn't Monday through Friday, it's just stuff I need to do and I've been crossing it off. That's it. I have next week, tomorrow's Friday, so I'll probably go ahead and stick in the week after that. This is where I keep my inserts. It's my archive. It was in my last video. Um, so I just keep my next week in here. I can go ahead and start because tomorrow while I'm sitting at work, I can start planning my next week and the week after. So I just keep it running. And then Sunday, I'll pull this all out and put it in my archive and I'll just keep them rolling over some more stickers, my dashboard for my flags, my daily flags. I have an ideal routine. So all this is on these flags and kind of when it's supposed to be done, if I do it the way it's supposed to. So some more stickers and one of those little top filling pockets. I had this, I had something in it that I was carrying between here and my pocket. So I wouldn't have to keep taking it in and out. It, pop, it sits in here and my pocket if I needed it, but I just stuck it in here. These are my dailies. It's two pages per day. I did some journaling. I have done nothing today. I was in and out of meetings all day and I was just crossing off my to-do list. Um, I didn't really write anything down. Um, this is my what my thing looks like um, when I have a bunch of post-its. So I did, like I'm making a YouTube. I did my husband's laundry. I did a post. I watered my plants. I did his uniforms. I did my sheets. I gotta put out my recycling. I need to clean my bathroom. Like, and then I have on the back here. These are those more of those um, bookmarks I got from Marin Plans. It's on this one and my weekly. It's really pretty. Um, but on the back, I have a movement tracker. I have not, I have slept in every morning and I'm not breaking that because I have a real trouble sleeping. So I'm focusing on sleep this week. And then my non-spending tracker, which I have sucked at. Um, I've really got to stop buying things. <laughs> so um, even if it's a small thing, I put it down. It, it counts. So, you know, um, this I put, um, I watched main mama plans her video this morning and I have a list of things I want to add to my my planner and then this I found on somebody posted this I don't remember who but things to quit in June and I put it on here holding yourself back and quite um, living in the past isolating yourself negative self-talk and I just double tape started on um on the back just so that it's here and I can kind of look at it so it reminds me to stop being so talking to myself in a bad way. Okay. Where are the dailies? Those just, I had these bigger, I guess I miss like size them somehow. So I had to trim them down, but that's fine. I, I mean, I, it's enough that I know what the day, the time is. Um, which wasn't a big deal, I guess, when I had 25 millimeter rings in here. But when I went to 30, 
they really stuck out. I couldn't hardly close it without crushing the days, so I had to trim them. But that's fine. It doesn't bother me. It's another one of those dashboards. I stuck a bunch of um, I stuck a bunch of stickers in, and these are cut so they pop out, so I can move them around if I want to. Brain dumps for journaling for overwhelm. This is from journaling home, journaling for anxiety, journaling prompts for discouraging days. I keep those in here. This was a, oh, my roles as a person. So wife, mom, grandmother, daughter, nurse. That's my work. I'm a nurse. Friend, homemaker, chaos coordinator, woman who loves herself. So, and then these are some things that I need to be aware of that affect this. So a woman in perimenopause, I'm diabetic, I have ADD, I have depression, and I have anxiety. So I need to be honor that and make sure that when I'm trying to set goals and roles that I understand my limitations. Um, and I'm not saying they have to keep you back. I'm just saying when you're tired and you have a physical condition, you need to honor that weariness and rest. That's your body. So, and I ha I'm saying that to myself. I'm not saying that to you. I'm not a perfect person at that. I'm a productive person that needs to be productive all the time. And I'm a recovering productivity addict. I honestly, 100%, 100% a recovering productivity addict because I thought I had to be productive 100% of the time, all the time. And I'm trying to teach myself not to do that. Um, this was some journaling I did. And I literally wrote, I'm safe, I'm loved, I'm safe, I'm loved, all the way down. Because that's what my brain needed to hear, I guess. Um, and I just I just journal on here and I throw it out. Um, this was me planning goals and kind of like overall goals, individual categories and goals, quarter goals, monthly goals, weekly goals. Like how I want it to flow. Um, so I was working that out and I'm still working on it. Another dashboard, more pictures of my family. I am keeping track of what we eat um, so that I can help me meal plan. Um, weekly, monthly, buy lists, you know, um, just trigger lists of things that we do regularly. I still got to make a freezer list. This is a pantry list of one-off things that I have in my pantry. Some sticky notes that I had for meal planning and grocery lists. These are all from Plan With B. Um, I'd already printed all these out so because I, I was using them in a cut down B6 to weeks. I was going to use a bunch of sticky notes and I had them a bunch of them planned out, uh, st printed out. So I stuck them in here so that I would use them. A grocery list in case I needed an extra one. This is a triggered dinner list. Like I said, um, I have this same one in my pocket. I can look at this and buy all these ingredients without having to look at a recipe. So they're easy for me to do. This is my declutter zones. Um, if you follow the fly lady method, I do, instead of doing one zone a week, I do one zone a month. And um, because I do regular cleaning on a regular basis, but this is like deep cleaning in each zone. So um, I do one zone a month. I just don't need that weekly thing. Um, so uh, because if I don't feel like cleaning this week or zoning this week, I'm not going to. I'm just not going to do it. So I'd miss a whole zone. So I got a whole month to finish a zone. <laughs> so anyways, this is a zone on my zone three. This is my adulting list. I uh, think last time I gave my dog the pill, she went, they went to the vet, I changed my house filter, and there's a flag for each one of these, and it just goes on my weekly until I figure out what day I'm going to do it, when the time is, and then this is, um, like, on the back is, like, when did I last uh, charge our door camera, when did I do my eyebrows last, change my toothbrush, this is for my meds. When's the last time I got a med refill? This is for my makeup. When's the last time I replaced this makeup? Because I don't ever wear makeup. Like, literally, wear makeup maybe once every couple of months. So, I have a tendency to... Someone was detected at your front. Sorry. I think somebody's home. But, um... Um, if I, I, I have a tendency to pull out my mascara and it'd be like clumpy. <laughs> so, um, some stuff for my grandkids. Hold on. So 
sorry, I had to close the door. Um, stuff for my grandkids when they get a haircut last, when they change their sheets last. Um, this is my packing guides. I got rid of the ones, I cleaned out the ones that, I have some trips coming up, but they're later, they're after summer, except for one, which I left. I think I got one this month. I think we're going to take my granddaughter somewhere, but for her birthday, but um, these are my regular ones. So when we go to the beach and the river, when we go out on our boat, day trip to Disney, some fanny pack um, packing. If I'm down there for just the weekend, this is the basic stuff that I need, you know, so that kind of stuff that's here. This is my weight loss log. I have it. Non-scale victories. I keep those over here. This is my I weigh every Monday and I keep track of that and it's color coded. It's on a graph. I don't know. I think it's cute. This is my planning routine. Things I do quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily. Now that I've set some goals, I might update this. Um, a basic week routine. And then I, I do like AM routine, noon routine, and PM routine. So things I do before I go to work, like when I get up. Things I do right after work, that's my noon. And then PM is things I do just before I go to bed. And then I have a list of stuff and whether which one of those it falls into. Um, so, like I said, I may, now that I have goals, I may end up having to update this one, but, um, it's here as a basis, so we'll see if I just need to add one. My yoga, um, my yoga calendar, how do we get over here? It's supposed to be up here. Oh, I'll have to fix it. Okay. That's my yoga calendar. <laughs> I don't know, for working out. Add the planner list. Sizes, planner versus inserts versus covers, sizes. Uh, this I made, I laminated a little, um, those bookmarks came in this cute little bag, so I laminated it, and I'm going to put, I took the functional stickers out. I don't ever use them. I figured it'd be better if I used it for receipts, so I'm going to stick receipts in here. Um, maybe return receipts until they hit, or... Um, receipts I need to scan into fetch or something like that. I'm going to put those in here. Grocery budget, out to eat budget, travel budget. I just have them on little post-it notes so that I remember um, our little, yeah, post-its. These are all playing with B. They're part of her bundles. Um, Starbucks, planner, budget, clothes. I just put them on post-it notes so that I can change them out as I need. And as the things change, I can, and I use up all these post-it notes and I didn't put in like sheets of paper, they're just on post-its instead and I can throw them away, I can update them, you know. Um, I'm keeping track of my spending weekly. This is quarter two, I have quarter one on the back. I'm trying to use this insert from Prefective Paper. This is from My Moxie Dreams. I totally stole this from her. I still haven't done May. I need to do May. I need to do better in my finance section, keeping up. Um, I'm still flushing all this out, but anyway. Um, the next one is my list of bills. Then I have my afterpay tracker. I have a list of information for some loans, um, like my student loan, thing like that. Um, credit cards I need to pay off, the balance, and then um, that's it. That's what I have back here. I'm not sharing that. And then I just have, this is Mama Gracie Plans, a vellum from her, and some more of those stickers. This is one of my favorite. Do not feed hallucinogenics to the alligators. That's an actual sign in Florida. I'm not going to, I don't know why they had to put up that sign, but they I'm sure it did. Um, so, um Everything is fine. You're dry humping my life. I love these little stickers. When I looked through my planner and I cleaned all that out, I was like, what's missing? What do I miss the most? It was 100% my stickers. I miss my little stickers because I think they're cute and it's kind of my personality. Um, so anyway, I have all my cards in the back because I take this everywhere, you know, until I set up my pocket. I, I take my planner everywhere. I still don't know that I'm going to take my pocket because my brain is quiet when I just have all my stuff in one place. And then I have still have some bills and stuff I need to do in the back. Um, they're not the same bills. They're just rotating bills. Like when I get like labs that I need to pay or 
you know, something like that. Um, it goes in the back, some off, off bill that we went to the doctor or something. Um, that gets thrown in the back until I pay it, until it's bill time and I pay it. So that is a really detailed flip of my planner and how my system is working. That's really how it does. Um, I fill out the month, then it goes on my week, then it goes on my day. I mark this off just so my brain keeps track because I have time blindness. So this helps me understand how far we are into the week or the month. Um, this helps me because of my time blindness. I don't know whether that bit ago was six weeks or six days um, of when I took off. That helps that. Um, this is a place where projects usually go to die, <laughs> but they are here and I don't lose them. So my brain is happy that at least somewhere they're referenced. So when I do look over this, I'm like, eh, I can ignore it or do it. You know, same with these. You know, I, it's just how my brain works. It helps. This is really helping my mental health and help me adjust things as on the fly and as I go. Um, this is really, this has really grown in three months. This has been the most grown section of my planner, like flourish section of my planner. I have really drilled down on my sleep, mental health, and my perimenopause over the last couple of months of tracking this. It has really given me some insight and I'm able to take that to my doctor and they're able to adjust my meds. So that's really, it is really a good thing. And this is just because I want to do something more fun and I love to read and I've gotten into a non-reading slump and I need to get out of it. So I'm hoping spending more time in my tracker will trigger me to read more. <laughs> So I hope that helps somebody. If you have something that I touched on that you want more information about, put it in the comments below. I will gladly do that. Um, like I said, um, I'm gonna continue to work on my goals. I'm gonna shove this back here in the back um, because I want to really start to come out of my brain rut and um, start working on some stuff and get some stuff done. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope everybody has a good day. I hope you have a good weekend going into the weekend. And I hope this helps somebody because above all else, that's what I like to do here is to show you my planner and I hope it helps you. And if you have any suggestions for me, put them down below because I will gladly, if something's working for you that you see I'm doing, that's kind of like yours or you, exp you know, expanded on and it's really helped you, please put it below. I will gladly do new things. I'm always looking for something good that works for somebody. I will gladly try it out. It might not work for me. I might not end up doing it, but I always take suggestions. I love that kind of thing. So um, put those down below too. And if you haven't seen me on Instagram, come see me. I show my face over there. I post every day. Um, and I'll have a flip, a sped up flip of this over there. All right. Until next time, y'all. Bye.